Hello, I'm JW, and in this short video, it's going to have a look at how to replace the fuse wire if you have a fuse box that looks similar to this. So the first thing to do is to uh, switch off the uh, fuse box, and then just remove this cover to reveal the fuses. Now, if it's labelled like this one is, it should be fairly obvious which is the uh, fuse that's at fault. If not, unfortunately, it means taking them out and having a look. These simply pull out. And if you look in the back, you can easily see in the centre there whether the wire is intact or not. That particular one is, so uh, that's fine. This particular one is not. As you see, there's no wire there. Okay, you may find there's bits of wire left in there, but uh, more often than not, it will have uh, completely vaporised and disappeared. So once you've located the uh, correct fuse holder, just a question of putting in the new wire. So the first thing to do is to undo the screws, uh, one at each end. You don't have to actually take the screws out, just uh, undo them enough to get the new wire fixed around there. And if there's any old bits of wire left on the screws, obviously you want to get rid of that. There's a bit uh, in there. It's quite often going to be a bit left because uh, normally it just burns away in the centre and quite often leaves the uh, bits at the end there. So just get rid of any uh, remaining bits of old wire. Uh, next we need to get the new wire. Uh, this is a fairly typical card, uh, three values on there. Obviously it's important to get the correct size of wire. This is a 5 amp uh, carrier, so obviously we're using 5 amp wire to put in there. So just take off a length of that and uh, straighten it out. And the wire actually goes in the centre of the ceramic part, so it's a question of threading it uh, through the centre and out the other side. Now we can trim that off to uh, a moderate length there. Now it's important to make sure the wire does actually go right through the centre of the ceramic piece and it doesn't have to go around the outside. I've seen these wired in all kinds of uh, ridiculous fashion, so just through the centre there. And then it's just a matter of putting the wire around the screw at each end. So we'll just wind that around there and then just tighten up the screw so it holds the wire securely in place. And the other end is exactly the same, so again we just wind that wire just a couple of turns around the screw there. wire. The only one thing to be careful of here is not tightening it uh, too much because if you tighten it too much it will pull on the wire and it will actually break in the middle which uh, of course wouldn't uh, really be what you want. Now if there's any odd bits of wire just hanging out there you just need to trim those off. And the same at the other end. And again make sure there's no uh, odd bits of wire sort of trailing up the top or the bottom here. An unfortunate uh, problem is that if you leave the wire trailing up here, it can end up here, so when someone goes to take the fuse out, they're pressing onto the uh, live fuse wire there. Once that's done, obviously back to the uh, fuse box, making sure the switch is off. Do not ever put these in with the uh, switch on, because if there is a fault and you put this in onto the uh, energised circuit, the fuse will like to blow straight away and it will spray uh, molten copper and uh, cause a burn on your fingers. So switch off, the fuse uh, just presses back into the hole it came out of. You should have one of these covers, so uh, put that cover back on. Then you can uh, switch on and that should restore the power. If the fuse does blow again straight away, then that indicates there's some other fault still on the circuit. So uh, before replacing it a second time, you'll need to obviously find out what that fault is and uh, clear that and uh, make obviously necessary repairs. There is another video on the internet which shows uh, a similar fuse box to this, and it shows the uh, woman actor in the video putting the uh, fuse in, and then doing this to turn it on. Now there's a severe problem there in that if the fuse does blow, all that molten copper will then just spray onto your hand and cause a severe injury, so uh, obviously don't do that. If you haven't got the cover, 
and you must turn it on with the out the cover on, do it from over this side. So if there is a problem here, any uh, molten metal or sparks coming out of there will be well away from your fingers. It's obviously important to use the correct size fuse wire, and normally when you buy it on these little cards it's got the 5, 15 and 30. Uh, there are 20 amp uh, holders, which are somewhat uncommon. You can get these cards with the four values on, although they are not as uh, readily available as uh, this type. They're all marked on the front there, so 30, 20, 15 and 5. And the colour coding is normally uh, pretty much the same, so we've got red for 30, yellow for 20, blue for 15 and white for 5. So that's how you place uh, fuse wires uh, correctly. and. Uh, just remember to uh, switch off before doing anything with the fuses, that's taking them out or putting them back in. Always put the cover back on before switching on, and if you don't have a cover, when you do switch on, keep your fingers well away from the actual fuses themselves. As uh, if the uh, fuse does blow again straight away, molten metal is likely to be uh, sprayed at the top or bottom of the holder, and if your fingers are right in the way, then uh, unfortunately you're going to get a uh, rather nasty burn on your fingers. Until next time, thanks for watching.